today i shall talk about the science that i know now what is science if i look upon that question i can say it is a mixture of three things it is a method to find things out it is a body of knowledge arising from those things it is to use this newly found out mechanism to do better things i mean technology so science is partly technology too according to me it is more or less the same since technology and science have almost the same and the obvious characteristics that is how you apply knowledge about things the effects of science are always understood by common man and need hardly any mentioning the whole industrial revolution would have been impossible without development of science to name a few adequate food for large population controlling sickness etc would have been impossible without development of science being a social being question also arises whether to use this for good or evil because science doesn't come up with a user manual we have improved medicine to resist all types of diseases but we also look up for knowledge of new bacteria in hidden labs where there is no cure for it we have invented air transport successfully but also we are aware of horrors happening in modern airfare we have entered space but carry nuclear weapons with them so a science discussion forum is a necessity even if it may not come up with a permanent solution it could address new generation born every day the problems in development of science the power and the value of doing it in the rightful manner in buddhist mythology there is a fine line to every man is given the key to the gates of heaven the same key opens the gate of hell so it is with science of course it is a serious question but i think we cannot deny the value of the key to the gates of heaven the scientist is told that he must be more responsible for his effects on society it is the application of science that they are referring to if we think work and bring ideas in nuclear energy you must realize also that it can be used harmfully i think most of you know this since most of us would have watched skyfi movies coming to the point i should say we need to ask a question to ourselves if you do that is learn teach say search all of this what will happen and now coming to the character that a person should have while doing science can be explained beautifully by picking the life example of c v raman the institute that raman founded is called rri raman research institute institutes just cannot spring from nowhere we need to equip them to run them money is needed when raman moved to the new institute for the first year there was no electricity but raman didn't deter from carrying out several optical experiments with sunlight he considered a beam of sunlight as the best source and in bangalore there was no shortage of blue sky and bright sun a manually operated heliostat using few lenses and a pair of polaroid kept in order produced astonishing results which made several ground breaking scientific improvements in lattice vibrations after establishing the institute in firm grounds 
in international scientific community one day raman found a research student looking rather dejected when he asked what the matter was the student replied professor my competitor in england who is working on the same problem has a 100 kilowatt lamp whereas i have only a 10 kilowatt one raman replied never mind put a 100 kilowatt brain on it true raman cracked a joke but his reply also reflects his spirits you may understand this because great discoveries are always wild and exciting let me give an example in ancient philosophy earth was considered as the back of an elephant that stood on a tortoise that swam in endless sea of course the question remains what held up sea was impossible to answer they didn't know the answer it was just a result of imagination it was poetic it was definitely beautiful but today the world is a spinning ball people are held on it from all the sides and some of them upside down we oom around sun science is more romantic and more exciting than all other stories isn't it science doesn't end there it also explains why it is so the universal law of gravitation it not only holds us but the planets stars solar system the entire galaxy in all directions is science a dull subject i don't believe so to conclude i would like to talk about one other thing that is how do you get new ideas this is for the amusement of the students who are listening to me right now how do we get new ideas i think there are lot of things that you can look into let us think about the transitions in the scientific outlook of the world through the life history of galileo newton einstein and stephen hawking yes grand design of the universe is still in its infancy we each exist but for a short time and in that time explore but a small part of the whole universe but i believe humans are curious we wonder we seek answers and gazing at immense heavens above most of us don't spend most of our time worrying about these questions but all of us worry about them in some of the time in their life the grandest design is still somewhere around if designed it will be the successful conclusion to the search going back more than 3000 years some i will discuss in my invited lecture on science day at devamada college kurvelangad i invite you all to this grand function thank you very much i enjoyed myself discussing about science with you keep in touch